Okay. This lesson, this math lesson today is 0705. It is when you have to add more than two fractions or subtract, okay? I'm given two different examples on how to do this, how to add three fractions or how to subtract fractions with at least three fractions. All right, I will switch my screen. And I'm gonna give two examples today. All right, the first one is two fifths plus three fourths plus three tenths. Okay, now in this one, we wanna use, since there's three, I really can't multiply. That does not allow me to multiply because I would have to multiply five times four times 10 and that number would be way too big. So in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna use equivalent fractions to find a common denominator. So I'm gonna look at two fifths first, three fourths and three tenths. And I'm going to try to find a common denominator. Now I'm always gonna start with the lowest the lowest denominator, whatever the smallest denominator is, the fraction with the smallest denominator, and it's a four. So what I wanna do is I wanna create um, equivalent fractions. So the first one I'm doing multiples of three on my numerator, and my denominator I'm doing multiples of four. So my next multiple would be three, my multiple on my denominator would be eight. I'm counting by threes on top, fours on the bottom, and there would be nine twelfths. And then the next one would be um, 12 sixteenths, okay? And I always like to do about five of them if I could. That gives me a good idea, so that would give me 15 twentieths. All right, now I'm gonna try my two fifths and do the same thing. Multiples of two on top, multiples of five on the bottom. Four tenths, six fifteenths, eight twentieths. Oh, I found a match, okay? So now if we can get this to be twentieths, then we have a common denominator. And this would be threes on top and tens on the bottom, and I found a common denominator of 20. So I'm gonna circle those, okay? And then I just have to add them together. Eight twentieths plus 15 twentieths, plus six twentieths, okay? So I'm gonna add eight plus six is 14, plus 15 is 29 twentieths. Now that is a improper fraction, all right? And there's two different ways of how I can make that into a mixed number. I can divide 29 by 20, or I can use my number bond. So I'm gonna show you two different ways. I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna divide 20 into 29. I know it will go one time and I subtract 20. I get nine, nine left over. So that nine, again, is my numerator and my 20 is my denominator. So I have one and nine twentieths. Now, I'm gonna show you how to use a number bond. Well, I wanna make a whole. And if I have 20 in my denominator, and I'm gonna make a whole, then I know I have to have 20 in my numerator. So that's 20 twentieths will make a whole. Well, what number plus 20 will equal 29? Well, that'll be nine. I wanna circle my holes. So then if I add that together, I have one whole and nine twentieths. And again, it's the same answer either way. So my answer then would be one and nine twentieths. One and nine twentieths, okay? All right, so that's how to add three fractions with unlike denominators. What we did is we used equivalent fractions until we found a common denominator, then we could stop. We added them together. We got an improper fraction. We changed our improper fraction to a mixed number and then we were done. Okay, the second problem I have is I have a, uh, a minus sign. So that means that I have to subtract a number, a 
fraction. Again, I'll use different colors. So again, I want to draw, I want to make three columns. And in my three columns, I'm going to create equivalent fractions. Okay. So the first one is two thirds. I want to go with my thirds because the three is the smallest denominator. The reason I do that is because I might, we might not have to do anything to this big denominator because it might already be a common denominator for one of these other smaller ones. We don't know yet. So why do the work, that extra work if we don't have to? So I'm gonna do two thirds. Again, multiples of two on top, multiples of three on the bottom. Four sixths, six ninths, eight twelfths, and 10 fifteenths. Okay, now I have 15 here and 15 there. So if this gets to 15, we can have 15 in my denominator, we are all set. So this would be one fifth, multiples of one on top, multiples of five on the bottom, two tenths and three fifteenths. Looky there. I now have three fractions that have the same denominator. So now I can redo that problem. So it will equal 10 fifteenths minus 3 fifteenths plus 4 fifteenths. So basically we can do it in the same order. We go from left to right. So 10 minus three would be seven. So 7 fifteenths plus 4 fifteenths. And that will equal 11 fifteenths. This is a common fraction. So it's not, this is a proper fraction, excuse me. So I do not have to change this into a mixed number. So this will be my final answer, 11 fifteenths. So that's two examples on how to add fractions with unlike denominators more than two. You're adding more than two fractions or you have a subtraction problem within those three fractions. Okay. So now we'll go back to my regular screen. And this should be assignment 0705 again. If you turned it in and you didn't get a real good grade on it and you want to retake it, I would highly suggest that you do that. And remember, the higher the score, that is the only one that will count. It will only count your highest score. So have a great day.